Yeah, move your sorry gigantic troll ass over there and I'm just gonna go through the jungle and look for elves, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spellforce Free Fallen. God, I'm gonna do this after the man. Well, we're gonna dive into the second standalone expansion pack for Spellforce Free. Now, just so you know, the game, actually the key, has been supplied by THQ, which I'm very, very grateful for. Much appreciated, much indeed. Now, as you all know, we've played the Soul Harvest. We've managed to defeat the God of Light somehow. So today, we're gonna start ourselves a new, completely new, burning blood, okay, that's nice. We're gonna start ourselves a completely new story, but this time we'll be playing as trolls. And apparently, falling God? I didn't fall. I'm, I'm here, I'm sitting, I'm completely fine. Chieftain Agrok leads a dwindling nomadic tribe of trolls that has what, just one goal, survive. Plagued by victories, purchased and weakness by disease, they turn to desperate measures. Well, looking forward into it. Now, as you know, last time I think we've played on normal or easy difficulty. I don't actually remember. So today, well, I want to do something really stupid. No chalice is too great for you. Try this difficulty. You have to use uh, every advantage possible in order to survive. Optimize all of your character's abilities and equipment, as well as exploiting each enemy's weakness. In circle uh, is critical in order to even start a, stand a chance. Not recommended for a play, fool's playthrough. I'm gonna regret this. When fate decides a troll must bow, Chieftain Narjak Firstborn told his cub, Akrog must carry the tribe now. Narjak, Narjak has spoken. Slowly, Akrog looked up from the bloody mud. Akrog cannot. He is not ready. Narjak's gaze was like fog. Take care of them, cub. Them and him. Both. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. So, this is gonna be a bit diff different from the uh, fractions I used to play in Spellforce. The fractions I'm used to play in Spellforce. So, you know, I have my nine open and I am really, really excited for this thing because this is Spellforce. It's a new campaign. And apparently, it's supposed to be good, so let us roll, ladies and gentlemen. Roll once again into the kingdom, into the world of Eo, and, well, try to survive. Oh, apparently I have to create myself a character first. How lovely. Uh, Argog Bone Crusher. Custom. Body Troll. Grunvat Griffful. Noak Moonblood. Does like small cost. Okay, well, looking forward into it, ladies and gentlemen. So, an interesting thing is that you can play as this guy, for example, and you can only pick from two different no, ability trees are fixed for this character who will join your party early in the story. Oh! However, our behavior around him will later change the shape of Noah's unique secondary tree depending on the, his outlook. Alright. And then you got those two guys which have uh, the last final ski a bit, uh, skill a bit different. Sure, okay, whatever. Um, I think I'm gonna go as Arog Bone Crusher, and we're gonna go with way of crushing things. I'm gonna try to maybe make a warrior. I actually wonder what the thing would be a possibility. We'll see. No one crushes things quite like a Moonkin. As he learns, he will get better at using weapons and shields himself from the attacks of his enemies. He can hit two enemies at once, let his rage take over in the heart of battle, and even use his shield as a weapon. Great! Uh, I wonder can I select two skills at the same time? No idea. I would love to go with two of those and see how that thing is gonna take me uh, far away. Can I... Oh, okay. Sure, let's select this thing. Can I select anything else? I don't think so. Can I... You must select one ability tree. Oh, so that's how it works. Okay, glasses. Stopper, stuff like that. Okay, uh... <laughs> I, I... Whoa, okay, now we are talking, boys. Haircuts? Can you even see those? Oh yeah, sure, I need the air ring in my nose. Yeah, there you go. And I can't even change my color. Sure! I'm gonna play as, you know... <laughs> North Europe troll? <laughs> because what- Oh my god, this guy... This guy can grind meat on his fucking torso. Look at that thing, holy shit! Okay. So I gotta go with this guy over here. Um, hmm. What's this? Hunter. 
Chris. He has good sight and throws his sticks fast. <laughs> his sticks? Really? Flame Master. He is not big, but his spirit can do big things. Sure, why not? Uh, I'm gonna play with this guy. Uh, ability points. Okay, so my primary is... If I can choose two, I'm gonna go with nature. So I'm gonna have constitution and willpower. So let's go with this one. Requires to wear light armor, medium armor and stuff like that. Okay, let's go with five. Uh, what else we have over here? Weapon attribute, don't have that thing. Willpower. What is willpower for? Requires to wear magic robes, also requires intelligence. Um, okay. Can I actually pick something else maybe? Willpower, dexterity. What does dexterity do? Basic weapons. Uh, basic for two dexterity weapons and strength. Basic melee weapons. Okay, none of the build, none of those builds uses strength as its primary source. <laughs> Excuse me, I am playing as a librarian trolls or as a actual trolls? Just asking for a friend. Uh, metal weapons and any primary requires dexterity as well for most throwing axes and shields. Okay, so I'm gonna go with three for now, and how many I'm gonna need for a shield? Twenty-five. Okay, that should be enough, I think. I hope. I don't know. We'll see. And now I have to pick something. Uh, yeah, let's let's pick. What was that thing? Flame master. There you go. You're gonna play as a flame master. All right. And you, big boy. The panty. I cannot pick anything over here. Right. Are we ready? Uh, are we ready, boys? I think I'm ready. So, wait. Do I have to pick something? I cannot pick a jack shit. Whoa. <laughs> Fate of the moon blood. Okay, sure, why not? Toggle equipment. I don't think I can do anything. Distribute attribute points. Ah, this thing, okay. Uh, constitution. Yeah, let's go with this thing, I guess. You're gonna be a tanky boy. Something like this. I don't know, we'll see. Right. <laughs> I'm going with circle mesh difficulty and I have no idea what I just built. Let's roll. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Shield the tribe, and shield Noag. Those were Chieftain Narjak's last words to his cub Akrog after a ballista bolt from the Tusk Hunters pierced right through his chest. Fabled warrior, leader of the Moon Controls, last of the mythical firstborn, killed by Elven Poachers. It was not only Narjak's heart the bolt impaled that day, but also that of the Moonkin tribe, weakened by the terrible blood rot plague and decimated by the hunters. They had long been struggling for survival. With their mighty chieftain gone, the last ray of hope still shining was Noak, Akrog's younger sibling who had inherited Narjak's legendary power. The chieftain's wish for Akrog to succeed him surprised many kin. But it surprised Akrog most of all. True, he was a strong and honorable warrior, but far from the Moonkin's best. All he had was the peculiar gift to hear the voices of the dead and an iron will to do right by his sire's last words. Was he ready for this? He could not say. Yet when the tribe demands, a troll must bow. And so Akrog found himself giving his first command as a chieftain to be. The Moonkin would travel to Mugwa's Cradle, a shrine guarded by the Bonekin trolls, to perform the Devouring, the sacred ritual where the new chieftain consumed the old chieftain's heart to take up his role. This story begins the day the Bruised Tribe arrived at the Cradle, where Akrog, joined by his mentor Grunoir and his trusted one Saska, ventured out to find a holy plant for the ritual, Mugwar's Tear. Little did Akrog know that the true trial of the Moonkin trolls had just begun. Voice acting as always on top, boys. Voice acting as always on top. We have to admit. No matter what the trolls may think of Chieftain Akrog, Trust not the foul tusks who say he had everything given to him on a moon silver platter. 
all because his sire was chieftain before him. Oh no, little cubs. The hunger, the blood rot, the hunters. The Moonkin had become but a shadow, and in the span of a day, it became Akrog's calling to lead them back to Mugwa's light. The day he and his two companions went out to prepare Narjak's last rites would be but the beginning of his troubles. Sure! <laughs> Sounds promising! Remember, I'm playing this thing on circle difficulty. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, I have to get ready to bite my goddamn desk. Why did I thought that this was a good idea in the first place? I don't know. Probably because I'm stupid. I am dumb. But, well, I'll be playing as Mighty Trolls. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Quest received. First steps. Oh my god, this is gorgeous as always. Oh, oh. Hey, we found the plant! I hope. Are these the ones? Hmm. Magua's tears. The sacred plant. Blessed by the goddess herself. Pity she always cries in hard to reach places. It was a rotten pain to get here. <sighs> One blue Macrog to embalm the chieftain's corpse for the devouring. Harm not the others. Okay. If the blooms are so powerful, perhaps they could help with the blood root. Akrog has a question. If the blooms are so powerful, perhaps they could help with the blood rot. Surely Mugwa would understand. Akrog Sire said the same thing. He said that? When? Oh, hundreds of moons ago. Back when the blood rot first showed, Akrog was still a little cub and Little Moonblood was not yet born. The eyes picked three blooms, and Shepherd Crumb brewed a potion from them. But it helped not. In truth, it only made the trolls that drank it worse. Worse? <sighs> the hex power of the blooms is too strong, even for a troll's flesh. Great, 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 great. Okay, so Moon is reflecting the sun. As we all know, we last time we fought it with the God of Light, which is basically embalmment of this of the of the light. Yada yada yada. Yeah, that explains a lot. Macrog remembers hearing that the brittle bones use these blooms too, no? The sharp eared ones. The elves, it is true. They call them Lenya, and greedily tear them from the soil to use for their hexes. A typical lightling ways, if Grungwar is asked. They think themselves so much holier than the dark races. But in the end, all they do is take, take, and take. Yeah, you remember the trolls from the previous game? Yeah, we used to slaughter them. We used to hunt for them. Apparently, we are we the bodies in the previous game? <laughs> Akrog wants not to disrespect Mugwa, but why can they not pluck more? This is a Brittlebone ruin. If the Moonkin pluck them not, someone else will. Akrog speaks true, but still, the laws demand it. These blooms are gifts from Mugwa to the Sacred Earth, and the only time a troll can rip them from the soil is for the rites. Akrog understands. I don't. All right. And it is done. The bloom has been plucked. Back to the cradle, then. Before the big little oaf Noag goes mad with worry, thinking they tumbled off a cliff. Akrog is listening. Uh... Akrog still thinks they should have taken Noag with them. It would have helped his dark thoughts. Noag's gloom is the reason it would have been unwise to take him. Give him time to mourn. Has the moon blood and soon the same blood of the chieftain. He knows there will be little of that in the moons to come. Hmm. Grungwar speaks true. Let them march back. They have lost too much time already. Wait. Before they leave, Grungwar... Well, Grungwar has an unusual wish. 
He would like to pluck a bloom for himself. What for? The devouring? No. It is... <sighs> the Moonkin have been running for so long, Chieftain. Grongwar dreams that one day they will find a true home somewhere. A tribe camp to last, so to speak. Okay. What have Mugwat here to do with this? Uh, well, so they won't have to travel on the other edge of the goddamn world to pick up one stupid flower, I guess. What have Mugwa's tears to do with this? Well, it may sound foolish, but Grongwa would like to hold on to that bloom and then plant it in the Moonkin's future tribe camp, like a totem of hope, to show how far the Moonkin have come. But the choice lies with Agrab. After all, it is against Magwa's laws. You're gonna come pick up the moon. King should respect Magwa's law. Why is Grumwar asking for Akrog's blessing? Akrog is not chieftain yet. Yet, by the next sun up, he will be. Hmm. Believes Grumwar truly that this tribe camp will ever exist? To speak the truth, he knows not. But to use Chieftain Nodjik's words, when a troll must choose between hope and fear, why choose the latter? So he can be prepared. One can prepare for the worst, while still hope for the best. Fear only darkens the mind. Can the bloom survive that long? It can. Forget not, Agrog. These are no normal blooms, but ones that brim with Magwa's hex power. Grangwa will need to take good care of it, of course. Hmm. Yeah, sure, let's take the stupid plaque. I mean, like, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Fine. Grangwa can pick it. Grangwa thanks the chieftain. He. Uh, there, old fur. His precious little bloom. Zoska should not have done that. The blooms are sacred. Well, Zaska just did, and he still stands here, looking as good as ever. Now, how about they leave this place? <laughs> Fine. Back to the cradle, then. Okay, right. Controlling... I've played through this. Can I pick up this thing? Mugwa's tears only grow here. The blue glow is beautiful. I bet it is. Okay, let's go. Camera, yes, yes, I know. You don't have to tutorial me through the game. Oh, hello. What the heck? I've heard noises. And it is open. Strange. Maybe Zarama could learn a thing or two from these ruins. Brittle bone craftsmanship never brings anything good. Yeah. But Wait, those are elven this. ruins? If those are elven ruins, that why there are cages around here? <laughs> those are not pacifist, pacifist elves, man. Those are not pacifist elves. Mm. It is like the other one, but the stick is missing. Let them look around then. Maybe they can mend it somehow. Okay. Right. Zoska is listening. Uh, requires Aragog Bone Crusher. What should okay, here we go. Inspect. Hmm. This works not. D you don't say. Okay, I need a stick. Is here. I need a stick, and oh, we're gonna open up this gate. We're gonna go around, and we're gonna do something. Okay. So let me guess. Open up the chest. Learn the tutorial. Just expect that. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. I know how this thing works, Zayn. Thank you, you thank do? you. Much appreciated. Finish up the repair. Let Zoska get a proper look. Interesting. Charles capable of repairing but stuff. <laughs> we are so dead. He will lead the way. Okay, we got ourselves a shrine over here, so that means it's gonna be probably fight very soon. Formation, boys! The tribe. Bugs, look out. Yeah, you don't say. Okay, ability trees. What bugs? I don't see any bugs around. Is the game buggy? Of course not. Is ready. Okay, Agark is ready. Agark needs to level up. Oh, I had this thing blocked. Oh, so that's why I could not pick up a second free thingy. Well, shit. I wonder how that thing is gonna go. 
Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, I've made a slight mistake, I guess. Little tiny bit. Little tiny bit. Incy pincy witsy bitsy. Uh, Mugwa's blessing the water when he uses a weapon. He inflicts hex pain on the enemies. Perk. Auto attacks. Oh, okay. Uh, focus. Summons one healing totem. Sounds good. Let's see. This is my main guy. I don't. Agro clears the way. When he's not fighting, Agro and his nearby can move more quickly. Uh, spirits with focus speed. Apply chieftain's mark to enemy creature for 30 seconds. Also counts as a spirit mark. Top of the something. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Stuff like that. Causes more pain when he attacks enemies. <laughs> that speaks my language. Next level. Stand ground. Self target area of effect. Argok stands his ground and does not budge. His height seems thick and his tusk a bit sharper. Kin nearby feel the same. Yeah, that could have some abilities, I guess. Uh, block chance. Yeah, I don't have a shield at the moment. Tribal bash. Sure, let's go with this one, I guess. Uh, this is probably active ability. Costs. Yeah, I want to use this thing, please. I want to use this thing. I oh okay wait I have to apply. There you go. Okay, uh what do we have over here? Ooh. Zach's a smart hunter. He can look at places far ahead without being seen. Sure. Fighting dirty. Uh Zach can pockets uh, has pockets for carrying many ingredients. Okay, I don't know what that thing is for. Mm, uh, he has learned much about hexes, so all of them are better. Right, this looks very similar to the Invocator. Of Inv I think it was Invocator we've played last time? I remember this ability, this ability, this ability, this, 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 this. Yeah, this is basically the fire build. Eh, I've seen better, I guess. Grogoire. Hmm. I really want to go with the healing totem, you know? What's the healing totem? Uh Was it somewhere over here? No. Where is my healing? Ah, there it is. A life totem. Okay. Let's accept this thing just in case. You know, having some healing would be probably very nice. Hello? Oh! I faced those things last time. In the previous game. Okay, use some abilities. Good job. Place a totem. Casting a healing totem! Oh, cast it! Eh, not so bad, boys. Not so bad. Can you kill the things? That'd be great. Come on, kill it. Kill it! Maybe take them back for food. Bugs are bad for the guts. Sasuke had to learn that the hard way. I don't want to know. Okay, go over here, explore. There's something over here to pick up. Probably. Ooh, healing potion and something. Okay, carry on. What can he do I don't think I can try. drop anything here. Okay, let's go. Come on! Uh, there's a gate thingy over here. <clears throat> the Moonkin cannot go through here. True. But there is a hex stone. If they can kindle the... There they are. Trusted one, Herbak one eye. What is he doing here? Looking for them. The fat Bonekin chieftain was getting worried. The tears were harder to find than they thought. Mm-hmm. Cub Akrog? Nurbok will tell him one more time. The Moonkin should break off the devouring and move on. If they stay in this clearing for too long, the hunters will come for them. Nurbok, they talked about this. The chieftain must be devoured so Magwa can pass on his power to the chosen chieftain. Narjok would want... What Narjok would want is for the tribe to survive. But Nurbok has said his piece. It is clear the tribe would rather listen to a fresh tusk cobbling who hears voices in the wind. Ooh, shots fired. have not seen hunters for six sundowns now. Nurbok really believes they are in danger. The tribe is always in danger, and they will never be safe. Not as long as the Tusk Hunters are out there. Not as long as the Blood Rot takes warrior after warrior and kills their cubs before they are born. Not as long as there is never enough to eat. <laughs> A true ray of sunshine. No one asked for Small Tusk's opinion. 
<laughs> I like this guy. Can this guy be part of part of my party? Erbok knows that Akrog wanted not to be chieftain. His sire, Narjak, chose this. Mm-hmm. In his dying moments, with a big brittle bone throwing spike through his chest, he either chose Akrog because dying made him confused, or simply because Akrog was his cub. Nurbok knows not what is more pathetic. Nurbok, it was the chieftain's word that makes it no less wrong. <laughs> Narjak was Akrog's sire. If anyone knows what he would have wanted, it is Akrog. What? Has Akrog become a lightling now, where blood ties matter more than one's tribe? It is true, Akrog is Narjak's cub, but that makes him no closer to Narjak than any other kin. Nerbok speaks true, Akrog. He may be Narjak's cub and feel a strong bond to him, but a cub belongs to the tribe, regardless of his sire. That is what Mugwa's laws demand. There. Listen to Grungwar. I already got confused with the names. Uh, is Nerbak done? Nerbak will not disrespect Agrok. Sire Nerak was the last firstborn. He deserves to leave this world with honor. Sire Narjak was the last firstborn of the trolls and the greatest chieftain there ever was. He deserves to leave this world with honor. Zazka could not agree more. If everyone got what they deserved, every worker would have their own iron beak. Make no mistake, Nurbok treasured Narjak like he treasures Grungwar. But Narjak was a great chieftain because he put others first. Surely Akrog knows that, after what his sire did for Nurbok and Akrog both. Akrog knows Nurbok. But what honor have the trolls left if they let these rotten brittle bones crush even their most sacred traditions? Now, can Nerbok kindle the Hexstone? He can. Oh, and Zaska Small Tusk? What? Nerbok knows the Small Tusk has been scheming. He will keep an eye on him. Then how will he see where he is going? What was Nerbok talking about? <laughs> <laughs> about Zazka scheming. Scheming makes it sound very bad. He will tell trusted one Akrok after the devouring. Kin should not have secrets from each other, Zazka. And Grungwar would know all about that, no. What on Urgath? Okay, boys, come on, let's go. We're gonna touch each other's dicks later on. As the thing's gonna progress. What? What is Agrog waiting for? They need to bring the tears to the Bonekin. Why would Nurbok accuse Zazka of scheming? Ask him himself. The small tusk is standing right there. And he was about to say the same thing. Akrog, Zaska will tell him after the devouring. Now is not the time. <sighs> Fine. Okay. That bear. Nurbok crushed it? Nurbok crushed it. But it was already hurt when he came here. Maybe a bonekin hunter killed it then. Or a brittle bone. Anuk's eyes have scouted the jungle. They say there is no one in sight, neither Brittlebone nor Greenskin. True. Well, it will be a good meal for the ill and wounded. Nurbok will take it back to the tribe. A wise idea. Best ask Krum who needs it most. Akrog will leave now. Will Nurbok join the Devouring? He will. But there is something else he has to look into first. Hmm. Sharp tusks and thick hide, then. On his way. Oh, he's actually skinning the... Oh, that's so cute. You know, that like little details around here. Oh, great. More bucks. Yay. Oh, it's a big fan of this. What? Click and fight. Yeah, I know about this. You know, nothing new. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Woo, whoopsie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast the totem healing. Thank you over here. Go over here, cast this thing on him, thank you. You know, smack his face. Smack his face, somebody cares. Just keep smacking faces. All the way around, every single time. Oh, wait. There's a totem over here. I wonder how I can actually get inside and activate that thing. Bloody, bloody da. You guys killed? Oh, great. I've seen that thing already in the previous one. And this guy is almost dead. I definitely need to figure out some better healing abilities. About this jungle always makes Akrog's hide crawl. The blood drop in the cradle. It is 
full of Magua's power, making life and plants flourish all around it. Pity all that power does beak shit to keep the hunters and slavers away. Is something wrong, Zaska? No, of course not. Should he do? Ooh, big words. What? Who the fuck is this contraption? Uh, holy hide! If it is not chosen chieftain Akrog Bone Crusher, Cabrax was about to ask the bones if something happened to them. Chieftain Cabrax, Mogwa prays. It is true. Finding the tears was harder than they thought. The Brittlebone ruin was swarming with bugs. Good for the tears. Bad for the many Brittlebone treasure hunters who search them. Ha! Come! Show him. Ah, uh, good. Very good. Mugwa will be pleased. Now all they need is a tooth. A sacred pier stick. The bone kin have none of their own. Oh, of course they do. But the moon kin will need to shape their own for their sacrifice. Okay, speaking of sacrifice, how's the moon kin blood giver speaking arrive yet? Of the sacrifice. Has the Moonkin's Bloodgiver arrived yet? Anuk? When Akrog left to find the tears, the Moonkin Eye Master said he could not be found. Oh, he has arrived, it is true, a few hours ago. He wanted to be alone with his prayers, though, so Cabrax let him and his trusted one into the shrine. Cabrax understands, of course. Being a Bloodgiver is a great honor. But it may not feel that way right now. Oh, okay. The sacrifice is truly necessary. The Moonkin have lost so many kin already, especially after the last hunter attack. It feels like a sin to kill another, even for the devouring. Cabrax understands, Akrog. But without the blood sacrifice, the Bone King cannot summon Mugwa's cub. And without the cub, the river for her hex power. They cannot give the chieftain's power to the chosen chieftain. It is a great price, but a troll must pay it. Great! <laughs> still understands not why the bones chose Anuk. The Moonkin need all the healers they can get, and his trusted one will be crushed. Grangwa told Akrug, the bones are the will of Magwa, and when she decides, the kin obeys. Elder Grungwa said it, but Cabrax will speak long prayers for his trusted one. Ah, oh, splendid. That solves the problem. Zaska, show respect. Agrak will take him once Cabrax allows them into the shrine. Akrog understands. He will talk to him once Cabrax allows them into the shrine. Akrog should. It's Car, the Bonekin Bloodgiver, would like to speak with him too, but they will cross that swamp when they come to it. Okay. How can they shape a tooth? Grungwar said it. It is a sacred weapon. Just like how the Moonkin shaped their other weapons. All Akrog must do is find a hexed brittle bone weapon, scrap it, then have the Moonkin Master Scrapper use the parts to shape the tooth. Can they not use the Bonekin's tooth? The Moonkin have no time. No. If the Moonkin want the Bonekin to do the devouring, they must respect the tradition. All right. Akrog meant no disrespect. I have a stupid thing that this guy over here, Chieftain Cobrax uh, Faithful, he sounds... I don't know why, but he sounds like the uh, the narrator from War for the Overworld. I, I don't know why, but he, you know, there's like a bit of a, you know, equalizer put it over there, like a bit of a, uh, you know, sound effects. But he sounds like him. Find a hexed brittle bone weapon, though. Oh, there are many places in this jungle. But Cabrax believes he heard the Moonkin's master scrapper, Zadamuk, speak of a brittle bone hideout up north. Good. All right. Sharp tusks and thick height, Chieftain. Arog thanks Cabrax in the name of the tribe. His name is Zeromak. But good. Akrog will speak to him. Sharp tusks and thick height, Chieftain. Is that a moonkin saying? <laughs> Cabrax likes it. Sharp tusks and thick hide. Yay. Okay, let's go over here. And hmm. They should look for Noag, too. Let them hope he has done nothing silly. 
They will. You will lead. Okay, go to the go to the east across the swamp. Kill so oh, hi oh guys. Hi, good morning. I have arrived. I have no idea who, who you guys are. What is it that Warrior Nark needs? Um well he feel foolish to ask. Just speak. Well, Tamer Julog. He um he say anything about Nark? Like what? Well, um there is no good way to say it. Talag, Julag's trusted one. Nog there when hunters kill him. Talag, Akrog remembers. That was many moons ago, was it not? It is true, but Nog still remembers all too clearly. Talag fight like a true warrior, and Nog by his side. But then the hunters get too many, and Nog... Nog gets scared and run. He even hear Talag scream as the hunter untusk him and... Well, no matter. Nog want to ask Akrog if Julag would forgive him if he apologized for leaving Talag. Akrog has the gift of spirits, so he can know thoughts of the tribe, no? I don't know? I cannot read thoughts. And if I could, he would not do it. Agar Kushes could read thoughts, but he cannot. Yeah, let's go with the first one, you know. Cannot read thoughts. No? But he is blessed by Mogwa, and... All the Gift of Spirits does is make him sleep badly and hear voices in the wind. And even if the Gift would allow Akrog to read thoughts, he would not do it. A troll's thoughts are his own. Narg should just tell Julog he is sorry after the devouring. Let Julog decide whether to forgive him or not. Hmm. Nargsi. Akrog is right. He must ask and hope for the best. Sometimes that is all a troll can do. Narg speaks true. Now sharp tusks and thick hide. Akrog must prepare the devouring. Hmm. Sharp tusks and thick hide. Can Zaska help? I'm starting to like this thing, you know? This is gonna be... It's gonna be complicated later on. Who the heck is this thing? Moonkin. So that's my tribe. Moonkin, Moonkin, Moonkin. Uh, Warrior Krezek Wormhide. Warrior Korak True Axe. Warrior High Grax Storm Off. Crop. <laughs> and a crop. Okay. Uh, Zaramak. I. I think I know this guy from somewhere. I'm not sure though. Okay, let's speak with the other contraptions around this camp. Wait, what are those things? My god, those are some really ugly birds. Holy shit, I really hope you feed them well because I don't want those things next to my camp. Oh, a chosen chieftain, Elder Graver. Magua praise. Magua praise. Hello, did you look too? Are the beaks well? Hmm. Well, most are, but Zekil and Yurak starve. Crumb gave them some herbs against hunger, but they are still restless. How goes the devouring? The sooner the Moonkin can move on, the better. They are still preparing it. Sharp tusks and thick hide, Julok. Sharp tusks and thick hide. I have learned nothing from this conversation. Oh crap, more people are dying over here. Great! Oh, Grorek. It is good to see him. Grorek. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Chosen chieftain must excuse Grorak. No need to be excused. But how is Krasik? Is he showing signs of healing? Not yet, Chosen chieftain. Krasik still has a fever, made worse by the blood rot. For now, the old fool slumbers. A curse on the blood rot. <laughs> hmm. Akrog thinks he has not seen Krasik sleep before. He looks so peaceful, no? He still farts as much as ever, though. Rorag thinks that must be a good sign. <laughs> Let us hope so. He, skip, he keeps farting, he's not dead yet, but we're gonna soon be. Is his sickness so serious? Mm. Rorag hopes not. Shepherd Crumb gave him some herbs to make him sleep. It is kind of Gorag to watch over Krasik. It is no trouble. He would do the same for Grorak. Probably. 
Krasik is fortunate to have Grorag here with him. Sharp tusks and thick hide. Hmm. Grorag thanks the chosen chieftain. Okay, so where's the guy that's lying around? Monkin, 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 Monkin. Krasik, ah, this works. Oh, so he's sleeping while standing. And he keeps farting. Hmm, well, that's an interesting construction. There. How feels he now? Better. Speak true, Krum. Warrior Higrak. He... He die. Uh, the brittle bone stab stick missed the heart. In a few sundowns, he will walk again. Good. That. Good. Ah. Elder Grungwar, chosen chieftain Akrog, Magwa praise. Crum is glad to see they are back safely. Magwa praise, Shepherd Crum, kind soul. How are the wounded? Not well. Nagak and Tap will not live to see the next sundown. Higrak might mend, or he might not. Might not. But Crum told him he would be fine. Sometimes a bit of hope and trust is enough to heal the worst of wounds. What of the devouring? Is it ready? Almost. The bone can need a few more things. Very well. Let Crum know if he can help. Tell Akrog, has Crum seen Little Blood? Noak. He seems not to be in the tribe camp. Strange. No, Crum has seen him not. But he was very upset about their sire the whole day. Poor Noag. He still thought Ken lived forever. Oh, okay. He should know better. He is young, but not that young. He should know better. Little Blood is not that young, and he has seen Kin die. Many of them. But not same bloods like Akra Gordnarchik. It is a painful lesson every troll must learn. Every moon kin is kin, no matter if he is same blood. It should make no difference. Wise words and true. But they all know how losing a same blood or a trusted one hurts more. And there is no shame in these feelings. Hmm. Either way, they need to find little blood. Has Krom any idea where he went? No, but he is sure he went not far. They should look in the jungle. All right. Sharp tusks and thick hide, Krom. I found something here. Some stone. Great. All right, so before we're gonna go to the deep, dark uh, jungle over there, up ahead, I need to speak with Zarmark, who's standing over here, about the weapon. Oh, chieftain back. Good, good. What he need? The weapon. Uh... Akrog is chosen chieftain, not chieftain. Not until the devouring has been done. Ah, chosen chieftain, chieftain, chosen, chosen chief, and same thing. Zaramak no good with twisty words, so he call Akrog chieftain like Narjak now. Less head hurt later. <laughs> A fair choice. This is... How are the scrap stocks of the Moonkin? Have the scrappers found enough to make up for what the Moonkin lost during the attack? Zaramak can speak true? Always. Then, no, they not made up. Lost many scrappers that day. Nilak, Pengpek, Dookie. Terrible day for the Moonkin. Terrible day. Terrible day, it was. But they trying. I, Master Anug, say their brittle bone battlefield up right from cradle. They have many scrap. Maybe Zaska can help. He is small and has good eyes. Maybe he can find some. No, no, Zaska. Scrappers enough. All right. He just wants to help you, dipshit. Moon can need to craft a tooth. Can Zeramak help with that? A uh, tooth? For eating? <laughs> no. The holy weapon for the devouring. They have the pointy end, they just need a brittle bone pierce stick with hex power. Cabrak said the scrappers found a brittle bone hideout up north. Ah, the cave, true. It locked, but the scrappers find shiny metal to open it. Here, uh, how it called? A key. The scrappers went in already. Not yet, because there are Eriks and other creatures. But Chieftain and Grung were strong. They can squish them. Maybe they take Little Moonblood too? He's so strong. Maybe. Speaking of Little Blood, has Zeramak seen him? Hmm, bit ago he have, but 
Not now. Maybe he sleep in shelter? Akrok will look. Either way, they will be back with the Brittlebone Pier Stick. Zeramak should stay ready. He will. Oh, and Slig? Best ask now. <clears throat> the Chosen Chieftain might be able to help Slig, if he has time. Just come and talk to him when he can. Okay. Fix it to walls. Sharpening can send... What the heck are those things? Akrog is ready. Okay, what you want? What should he do? Scrapper what you want? Stoutheart. He wanted to speak with Akrog? It is true, Chosen Chieftain. Sleek knows this is a strange time to be asking him for a favor, but Chosen Chieftain Akrog has always been happy to help the Scrappers before. He has, it is true. And what sort of help is needed this time? Oh, the usual. Sleek needs to bring back as much scrap as he can, so that he and the Master Scrapper can keep up with the need for weapons, armor, and all that stuff. He needs Akrog to carry scrap? No, no. Just shield Slig while he finds what they need. He gets so carried away with Sorton that he would not even hear Mugwa's cub if it came sneaking up behind him. There is a crumbling Brittlebone place southeast of here, where Slig might find some lovely scrap. Chosen Chieftain knows where Slig means. Hmm, he knows. He was there not so long ago, looking for Mugwa's tears. Perfect. So, has the Chosen Chieftain time to help Slick just like in the good old days? Yeah. He has is. not really the time, but he cannot say no to Slick. What is his plan? Oh, Mogwar prays. The Chosen Chieftain is so kind. Slick will meet Chosen Chieftain Akrog outside the Brittle Bone Ruins. It will not take Slick long to find out what he needs. Hopefully. It had better not. Akrog will meet Slig there. All right. He will see him soon. Yeah, move your sorry gigantic troll ass over there, and I'm just gonna go for the jungle and look for elves, I guess. Great! Spiders? Bugs? And elves in a single jungle. Just for me to devour, kill, destroy, and have a pain attack later on. I mean, a heart attack later on. I mean, something. Shut up. Can I cast a healing totem over here? Today, please. Thank you. Okay, how about you, gonna tank? You, no, you, move away. You, gonna tank. Yeah, there you go. No, run away! Run away! You're not capable of finding a melee weapon. Oh my god, you can die in melee weapon. Okay. What you've dropped? Of course, some spider parts. Like, I'm a big fan of collecting a spider scrap, right? A spider crap. Spider trap part thing. Shut up. Uh... Nerbok. Akra, too young. Also, Kutuk know why they call him Bone Crusher? Cause all he can do is crush things. <sighs> Take more to be chieftain. He has gift of spirits. <laughs> oh, Mugwa be praised. He hear voices in wind. Good for him. He... Oh, chosen chieftain. Hi, how are you? Rock Kutuk, the blood for the tribe, the tribe for the blood. Elder Grafer, Chosen Chieftain Akrog, the blood for the tribe, the tribe for the blood. Hunter Zazka, I Kutuk, I Ibrag. How wonderful to see them. What are they doing out here? Scouting? Hmm. I, Master Anug, tell them about strange sparkles in the jungle, so they go see. Is nothing here, though? Uh -huh. Speaking of I, Master Anug, where is he? He was not in the camp. East of the cradle, with few others. They say Crumb's beaks find nest of Arax out there. Good for eating. What sorts? Hmm. Kutuk no sure. Let them pray to Magwa they are blood fiends then. Their flesh is the most nourishing. Strange sparkles? Sparkles? What meant, Anuk? Ibrak and Kutuk ask themselves the same thing. He say the air wavy, like over a fire. Grogwar. Any idea what that could be? Maybe hex power. Hard to say. Green spot mushrooms, maybe. They make the nearby air wavy. Could be. It is true. You've seen a ra radioactive mushroom. Great. That's exactly the thing I did not want to know about this jungle. Little blood. Noak. He is not in the tribe camp. He not? Hmm. They see someone go through bushes up north. But they think it one of Zaramak's scrappers. 
Now that Akrog say it, he probably too tall for Scrapper. Tall sounds about right. Let them hope he did nothing foolish. Akrog heard them speak about him. Ebrock thinks Nurbok should have been chosen chieftain, and not Akrog. He... he must hear wrong. Well, that is enough to convince Zazka. Shut up, Small Tusk, or Ibrak will make ugly face even uglier. Kin harms kin not. Now speak true, or stay silent. What do you want Ibrak to say if they heard all? Uh huh. Arkak knows he's not strong as this his Sara yet, but he will earn the Moonkin's respect. Ibrak needs not to, to respect Agro, but he will obey him. Agrak asked not for this, but Sara uh, Najak chose him. Make this not harder than it is. But Akrog will say this. Akrog is chosen chieftain because Sire Narjak chose him, not because he wants it. Make this not harder than it is. <sighs> Ibrak knows, and he's sorry. He no disrespect Akrog. It is just the moon can lose so many. They cannot lose more. Trust Akrog. He knows. And once he is chieftain, he will do everything he can to make sure they do not. Now, another question. Actually not. They will leave now. There are many things to do. Sharp tusks and thick hide, eyes. Sharp tusks and thick hide. I've seen a troll over here when I was like going into the ruins. No, I take it back. I see some wolves. Sure, why not? Let's kill them. You guys want to help? No? Well, that's fine. Okay, kill the, yeah, kill the smaller ones. Ow. I got, uh, uh, you know, knock it over. I don't know how that thing pa happened, but sure, why not? Okay, go for it, go for it, and I'm not generating focus enough. Come on, come on, more focus, please. More focus, a bit more, a bit more, a bit harder, and I got knock it over. Son of a bitch! I've seen a troll standing somewhere. I think I've seen a troll over here, like he was standing here. There was a red troll, a gigantic goddamn red troll. An aggressive one. Uh, ooh, some armor. Sure, why not? Take it. Okay, you've healed. Right, grab the loot from the wolf. Alrighty, boys, let's go. Kids, keep on moving. Let's keep on moving. I don't know what's over there. Let's keep on moving, maybe over here. Maybe that's gonna be a better idea. Also, we still have to go to the back to the ruins, look for the scraps. Yada, 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 yada. We need to figure out like a good build for the characters. You know, we need to find some decent equipment. It's gonna be a long ass journey, boy. It's gonna be a long ass journey. How long? Terribly wrong. I mean, long. I mean, shut up. Okay, can I go up the river? I don't think so. And I think I'm, I, I, I think I'm supposed to open those. Yeah, you can open the caves. Oh, okay. I wonder if they actually picked that up. Found the little blood. Found the little blood. How do I know? Well, because he is uh, big like a truck. I got webbed. Why I got webbed? This is not normal. <laughs> Attack! <laughs> this guy, look at him. Wait, isn't this the guy that I was, like, creating? Yeah, this is the other guy from the character creation screen. Holy shit, he's big. Why do you call him little blood? I'll call him, I don't know, a little blood truck. Okay, whatever. Kill the gigantic spider is annoying. Uh oh. Web! You done? You done for today? They see no walk strong. He make Eric go squish. He do same for Brittlebone, who kills Sire. All of them. As long as he leaves a handful for Zazka. <laughs> Zazka get five. Noak five team. Fifty. Why is Noak out here alone? It is dangerous. Maybe for old Grumpf. No for Noak. He's strong. He is. But he is also the Moonblood. And the tribe needs him. Hunter Eric was killed by a wild wyvern just a few sundowns ago. What? Noak, not Eric. And tribe like Noak, cause he's strong. 
how he can stay strong if he always hiding in his shelter. Shaping Noak. Noak means well what he needs guidance. Your interactions with him and your behavior towards others who in his presence will not only define which skills will be made available in his right uh, skill tree, but also shape his character and many influence. Oh! Okay, it is true. Noak must be strong on his own too. This is not about hiding. It is about being strong together with the tribe. It is true, Little Blood can crush many Eriks alone, but he will still only be one troll. The Moonkin together though, they could crush all the Eriks on Urgeth. No I'll understand. But tribe need be stronger then, lot stronger. So next hunter attack, they will crush them all and build shelter from their bones and feed their flesh to the Moonkin cops. Mugwa Septic utters, Noag. Take a deep breath. The hunters are not here. But will be! And if Noag been stronger last time, Sire would still be here. And... and... <laughs> really? Oh, little blood. Calm. Be calm. It is not his fault Sire is dead. He is. Everyone say Noak Moonblood. Noak blessed because he's so strong, but he not. When hunters came, he can do nothing. 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 And neither could Akrog, or anyone. Noag is a moon blood, it is true. But Sire was a first blood. Ten times stronger than even Nurbok. It is good to grieve kin, and it can be good to be angry. But Little Blood must not let this anger turn into despair. Else he will one day do something bad. I always say the same thing. Big blood right. Noag sorry. He be calm now. It's all right, Noag. They all understand. So we just went out here to show the tribe he is strong and to unleash his anger? No, not only. He needs something from the Eric. It's... how say... guts? Should Sazka dare to ask why? It's a surprise for Crumple Noah make with Zeramak. Noah can take Guts, Big Blood? Sure, but he will accompany them afterwards. It is better this way. Let's okay, so I've seen a... They go back to Zeramak now? Soon. Sure. So basically speaking, I got myself a crying troll. Sure, let's see you three. Wow. Gentle soul. Block chance. Okay. Shield of the tribe. Tribe can always survive if blood lives for it and nothing else. Beat block, teach Noak that. Now Noak more calm, so his skills use less anger and he can use them more uh, use them more. Good for helping the Moonkin. <laughs> okay. This is an interesting character development. Why not? But ladies and gentlemen, we will continue the story of the Fallen God during the next episode because I've noticed I'm just running out of my record time. So, well, I'm gonna leave this thing as over here. If you want to try the game yourself, link in the description below as always. So go ahead, give it a try. <laughs> Let me know how you've managed to develop a <laughs> little blood over here. And if you have an interesting build, feel free to share it also in the comment section below because, well, I have a super feeling I'm actually gonna need that thing in the future, but that's gonna be the thing, as I said, for the future notice. So thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the like episode, please up a lot, I'll see you all in the next video.